Using a mobile phone while skating on the ice is dangerous to you and those around you. Please use this app responsibly, watch first and practice later. For our one foot glide, it's going to be really important to start with a good amount of flow because just like riding a bicycle, flow is an important part of our skating. If I asked you to stand on the spot with a bicycle, sit on it and put your feet on the pedals and not travel anywhere, you'd think I was crazy. And it's pretty much the same thing for your forward glide on one foot. You're going to need good momentum. So we always start with a good few pushes to get us moving. You can glide on two feet to settle your balance first. And then we will gently raise one foot. We're just going to retract that leg, a bit like uh, the airplane wheels coming up on takeoff. We're just going to retract that leg up a tiny bit in readiness to balance on one foot. Now, just before you start to retract, you're gonna to need to feel a tiny, tiny movement of the body weight across from shared on two feet to a little bit of a bias towards that one foot that you want to remain standing on, unweighting the foot that you're about to lift. So it should feel a little lighter, like there's less pressure in the sole of that foot. So we transfer across slightly to unweight the foot, ready for that gentle, up comes the, the wheels of the airplane and you're on your way. A little additional note for our one foot balances. So you have learnt about lemon actions, about legs turning in and out. We've talked about this like the turning of a pencil in a pencil sharpener. Pencil, hips, pencil sharpener. Now it's gonna be so important that when you're trying to hold your one foot glide that you keep a static relationship between the leg direction and your hips. And one of the most common errors that we see is that the moment that a foot is released from the floor that the legs start to turn one way or another. Now of course just like turning the handlebars on a bicycle that's going to steer you one way or another. Now it's very frustrating we're balancing we find ourselves going around the corner when we didn't really want to. So bear in mind you're going to have to really exert a subtle control to keep the skate pointing forward nice and neutral, forward pointing, knee pointing forward, skating hip leading, center of chest following, and arms gently out to the side will really help you to get the most accurate one foot glide in a straight line that you possibly can. Why is that important? Well, one day you're going to want to steer on purpose, but first we have to be able to hold a straight line. As you set out, remember, have your arms a little out to the side. You're about to balance on one foot, which is a little bit like walking a tightrope. So prepare your arms and shoulders nice and still. Take a moment on two feet before unweighting and then gently lifting the landing gear before placing that foot right back where it came from. Focus on a point in the distance to keep your eyes locked and see how long you can hold your balance. Remember, we always have a favorite foot, but try to practice both of them equally. We can also challenge our accuracy by practicing alongside the straight lines drawn on the rink.